Razabane for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to have with me victorious coach Pat Barrett, or the notorious Pat Barrett. Pat, we're in your ends. How are things? Very good, thank you. Very good. Assess Zelfa's performance tonight. Um, you know what? Um, there's still there's still little bits, but you know you can't be out the ring for so long and going to a world title eliminator. You're not, he's not as active as he, as he as I would like him to be. Um, and it was an emotional moment. He's won his world title eliminator. The next thing is onwards and upwards. Uh, so when you ask me what it was like, he boxed well. I'm proud of him. He boxed a very, 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 very tough and durable opponent. Um, to be in a soul. What more can I say? Is that what you expect from Bruno Trimo? Come forward, aggressive pressure on the front foot and trying to get into Zelfa's face? Yeah, the, the things that I've seen, what Zelfa could have done and didn't capitalise on that, once he took his, that come forward away, then Zelfa should have then used his strength and the bigger man and then, you know, go to work on him. But I don't think he imposed it enough. But then saying that, he damaged his right hand in the fight and... Uh, you know, I may come back in one corner, go to damage my right hand, and the other corner and wait and say, listen, forget about that now. You've not damaged that. He goes, yeah, I've not damaged that. I'm okay. Because the last thing you want to be thinking. And then a few of the rounds then became a bit negative, and he let Bruno back into the fight at some point. And, and it's the worst thing you can do in, in a, a world title eliminator is let somebody back in because if they've got a good corner team, they realise, see, so. It's time to the fight where Zelfa would have a really great round and he's, he's just going to get his throw his goal because of his right hand. But other than that, I thought he boxed well, done well, got the W and did what he had to do. Not every fight can be a knockout, do you know what I mean? When did his hand get injured from? What round? Do you know what? I can't remember. I just remember him saying it. Um, when, you, when you're so um, emotional into what you're doing in, in the corner, you don't even know. I didn't even know what round it was, you know what I mean? And, I, to be quite honest, I just remember him saying it to me. Uh, I'm not sure if it was from the sixth, from the fifth, from the seventh. I'm not sure which round. Pat, obviously, as you said, final eliminator for the IBF title. Eddie Hearn works for Kiko Martinez. Eddie Hearn also has Kid Galahad. Obviously, we don't know if they're going to have a rematch. We don't know what's going to be going on there. You don't know if Zelfo's next fight is going to be for the title. He may have to wait, oh, I don't know, one or two fights. I just don't know. But. Do you want to still keep him active and not waiting around for that title shot? You know what? Whatever it is, I'd just like to give him... I'd love to, I'd love to keep him active because the thing with Zelfo, I don't think he's kept active enough. Um, I think he's fighting every so often. And, you know, look from when he lost for um, at Eddie Irons back garden. How long was that? Six months ago? Do you know what I mean? Was it longer than that? There we go, you know what I mean? And a fighter of that can be... He needs to be active. Yeah, he needs to be active. Moving far and far back, let's get you back in the shot. Uh, Pat, everyone's talking about Joe Cordina, Stylista, he it makes a great fight. But Zelfa told me there that, that he rates Joe Cordina. Joe, Joe Cordina's a great fighter, but he goes, I'm higher rank and I'm pursuing the world title shot. Is it right for him to say that? Is that the right thing? I mean, well, of course. I mean, what's the point in taking him back to give another fighter an opportunity to take away what you rightfully just won? You've just won a world title final eliminator. So why would you fight somebody? If he was going to fight Joe Cortina, would it not be for the world title? And if it's not been for the world title, what would be the point in fighting him when he's, he's just nailed it himself? So, yeah, I think he should get his world title shot. I've been spending some time with Zelfa this week and he's been in a very good mood. You said to me yourself before that he could be a moody guy towards the end of fight week. Uh, the nutrition has made a big difference in his mental preparation as well as his physical. You know what, uh, Pete, his, his nutrition has been great and uh, it's what he's needed. I wish he would have done this a long time ago, but hey, you know, it's not too late. He's done it now. So I'm happy for him. I'm happy for the win. Uh, it was an emotional moment. Don't forget, it's Christmas. You know, he's not going to have his mum for Christmas. First Christmas without his mum. It's all hard, do you know what I mean? So, it is what it is. But it's, we've still got family that we love. We are, we are a close-knit family. Everybody will be here tonight. Manchester will be going mad. We'll go back. Tomorrow will be at Zelfers. It'll be great. All right, Pat. Thank you so much once again for giving me a little bit of your time and all the time you've given me this week. Um, congratulations again. And enjoy the festive period and the new year. And I'm sure 2022, I'll be knocking on your door very soon. No problem. And then I'll be opening it and letting you in. <laughs> Cheers. Pat Barrett, IFL TV, thank you very much.